you just met an amazing woman and you ask her out on a date. Suddenly your brain starts to scramble. Where do I take her? Besides my favorite restaurant. How do I know what she likes? Perfect. Do you go casual? Do you take her for a night out on the town? Well, I met up with Amber Kelleher and she explains how to create that perfect first date. That first date, you're lucky enough to get it. That's a lot of pressure on a guy, isn't it? It's a tremendous amount of pressure on the guy because on your first date, you have one time to shine. And so that first impression, you really do have to be at your best. So there's really simple tips. As a matchmaker, we send a lot of people out on a first date. Some people make it through to the second date and some people don't. So I've learned a lot from listening to women and their feedback on men. So here are some simple tips. One is phone etiquette and manners because, of course, that's the first time you're going to talk to her. The second one is have a plan of action when you call her. And the third is to be very creative during the conversation. Phone etiquette and manners, what does that mean? Well, it means to stay light, to stay happy in the conversation. Don't get in, into anything too serious. Give her enough information about yourself, but be sure to ask her some questions. Um, having a plan of action means get to the point. Ask her out. Don't diddle-daddle around trying to figure her out on the phone because you're never going to really understand who she is until you meet her in person. And being creative is asking the right questions so that you can plan your date around her interests. Okay, so calling and just saying, hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? <laughs> yeah, yeah, not not enough, right? <laughs> or calling it, say, midnight, not no, a good idea. definitely not a good idea. Okay. Timing is actually really important. Timing is great to think about because if she has children, you don't want to call during the dinner hours. And also, if she, has, if she works during the day, don't call during the work because she's going to have her, uh, her corporate voice on. She's going to put you on hold, and it's not going to be romantic. There's a double standard, isn't there? I mean, the guy's got to come up with the perfect first date. I think that that's fine, and I think if men are calm enough to understand that they're the ones that are going out first, the woman will meet them there, and I think it's fine for the man to lead. In fact, a confident man and a man with a plan, which we talk about, is the most attractive quality. Which leads me to the mailbag. Phil H. says, I suffer from anxiety. Sometimes I even need a drink before a date to calm my nerves. Is this natural? Okay, Phil, I, I think it's kind of natural. I mean, there's nothing wrong with having a drink before the date if it makes you more relaxed. However, be careful because if you plan on drinking two drinks during the date, then it's going to be too much. So one before, one after. Okay, and, but isn't that a good sign, though, that if you're a little bit nervous that maybe it means something special to you? Yeah, I think women appreciate a man that's a little bit nervous, but you have to have a plan and you have to ask her out. I actually have a lot of tips on body language, on courting, on first date, and how to make the best impression. If you visit our website at kelleherinternational.com. A lot of good information.